birthday. So you went on 30, 30 dates in 30 days? 30 dates in three days. 30 dates in three days. Yeah. So we just partnered with somebody in New York, uh, Marin, mm-hmm. and she's doing 28 dates in 28 days, and I thought it was so cool. And Amateur hour. She's going viral. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, no, Marin, I think that's very cool. 30 in three. 30, Please yeah, in three days. Tell me how that went. So 10 dates a day. But how? Um, Like an hour a date. I think first dates, I don't know if you would agree with this, I think first dates should be an hour. We, we I think, will you get into that? We, we, uh. It, yeah, it's something that. we talk about a lot. Because I think a lot of people, especially when you're meeting someone on on a dating app, right? The first date is really more to make sure you have the connection that you had on the dating app. So mm-hmm. why would you invest more than an hour in that? Because you could find out, I mean, in seconds if you have an attraction to them. But I think the, the second date is really where you should be pulling all the stops. So, did all, so obviously they had to know that... Well, I want it. If it was up to me, I would have told every single person about it. But my editor at Cosmopolitan was told me that she preferred me not to because in her experience in doing similar things, when you do that, the person's on their best behavior. Okay. And yep. the goal was to like actually authentically find love, find a connection. And if I was doing it that way, it just wouldn't have been right. But because of the timing of it, of when I got the assignment to when I went on my first date and was scheduled to go on my first date, I only had 15 dates in the books from dating apps. So the other 15 were set up. So half of them knew about it and then the other half didn't. But my rule was if any of them asked me on out on a second date, I would only accept if they were okay with what I had done. So, so what do you mean assignment? Uh, like it was, a, I wrote, I wrote, this was like a writing So assignment. this is like a how to lose a guy in 10 days kind, kind of, of thing. yeah. Wow. Pretty much, yeah. So cool. Yeah, so how, but I'll tell you how to lose a guy in 10 seconds, tell him you have, you know, 29 <laughs> Wait, so, more dates. <laughs> so out of the 30, how did most of them go and... They were all like different degrees. I think it was like a great, I had just gotten out of a relationship and it was a great way to kind of get back in there. And I do believe my husband is technically my 31st first date. So I do think that in a way it led me to my husband because it sped up the process that we normally do between relationships where we go on dates because I got to go on all of them and it was really so clear of like what I wanted, what I didn't want. So some of them were awkward as most first dates are. A lot of them, I had a couple that just didn't show up or flaked, but those counted because, you know, when in Los Angeles, you have a lot of that too. And then, and then some were, some were really good. Some, some ended up being second dates. So that's so awesome because, you know, obviously our app is to get you on a real Mm -hmm. date, but that's what we tell people is if it's a terrible date, you didn't really waste your time. Right. Because if you do an you hour, know what you, want. you do a drink and it doesn't have to be alcohol because like it couldn't be alcohol for me. Yeah. I would have had alcohol poisoning. So a lot of them were like walks, coffees. I had a great fun date at Dave and Buster's. Like it was more about getting to know someone through an experience. And then I think usually I was the one that would reach out after a date. Mm-hmm. But this I let them reach out. And if they reached out and were interested, I would then tell them about what happened. Wow. So, so cool. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. And also like first rounds of me works. You, I, I think you had said something about like between the time you started texting your husband or now husband mm-hmm. and messaging, you, you met pretty quickly, right? Yes. And that was like a big red, a big, not red flag, a big green flag for me. Um, because yeah, we, and I, that was, I had learned that from doing the 30 dates in three days because you, I had to make a plan. I had to be the one that was kind of pushing to meet because I had a goal, right? So with my husband, I was kind of doing that. And in most guys, some guys are really turned off by that. Some guys, if you are- You initiating one, a date? Yes, when okay. you initiate a date. Because some guys are just on there just to like maybe sex, or maybe right. whatever, like have no intention of ever meeting you. So by doing that, you weed out those people And my husband was like happy that I had made the plan because he actually is someone who's awful at making plans, which I learned (laughs) when we started dating. Uh, And he's like this with his friends too. So if I had never pushed him to make the plan, we may have never met up. 